Okay, today I'm keeping it real real with you and I'm telling you the truth about wearing wigs. These are things that you do need to consider. These are things that may not always be awesome, but wearing wigs is still way worth it. The benefits outweigh sort of the annoying stuff, but we're here to talk about the truth and to tell you the real real about wearing wigs. So if you want to know, let's get to it. Tia here, wig coach, wig educator, and owner of Tia Maria Wigs. And I want to shed some light on some real truths that it comes with wearing wigs because I think it's so exciting. You can wear whatever you want. You can be so excited and so fun and express yourself. But there are some things that you do need to know so that you're not taken off guard when you're choosing your wigs. And one of those things is the fact that wigs can be hot. I'm in the beautiful Gaylord Hotel in Nashville. I'm actually indoors, but it's like this biodome look. I'll give you the view. Look at the view. So it looks like I'm outdoors, but I'm actually indoors. So I'm not really worried about my wig being hot right now, but wigs can get hot. And so there are a bunch of things that you can do to address that. I have videos on that, but I'll just quickly tell you, you can make sure that you have a lightweight synthetic fiber, low density, and choose a wig cap that has either open wefts or monofilament, lace fronts. You can also get these things called headline it's that go right up underneath your wig. And I'm telling you, I was outside in the Pennsylvania hot humidity, 90 degrees at a festival with no shade and I was wearing that. I have a full video on that and I couldn't even tell, okay? So yes, wigs can get hot. Please do not let people tell you they won't be, but there are things that you can do to combat that. Okay, truth number two is yes, wigs can be itchy. They can be itchy in different ways and to different degrees for different people. But if you have like sort of a lace front that can be itchy on your scalp. Also, it can just be itchy wearing them, especially if you have bio hair or if you like shave your head or your hair is coming back in maybe after some treatments, just in general, just like, you know, on your legs or wherever, when you have that stubble, it's itchy anyway. Then you're putting a wig cap on, then you're putting a wig on, right? To reduce itchiness, I have my own particular ways to do that, but if you have some tips, please put that down below because this is, you know, it, it's kind of like, some people are sensitive to makeup, some people aren't. Some people have sensory issues, some people don't. For me, although lace can be itchy, it doesn't really bother me that much. But how I reduce that is one way is I use the Milano wig grip cap, which has a cap that's a little bit more smooth and also can put down my bio hair. I do often shave my head. So that helps a lot for like when it's coming back in and things like that. So the Milano wig grip cap is one way to do that. I would say if you're very like, especially if the lace really, really bothers you, I would go for one that does not have a lace front, whether it's a basic cap or you can get something that's called a double monofilament and it has sort of like a silk layer underneath, which makes it more comfortable. Wigs that are designed or marketed towards those that are cancer patients are gonna be the most comfortable because in general, when you go through treatments, your scalp can be sensitive, your skin can be sensitive. So look into wigs that are specifically marketed for cancer patients. They're gonna have like no lace front, but they're gonna have double monofilament. So you can still style them. It's gonna be more comfortable. Consider a mesh cap or a silk lined cap. Those are less itchy than traditional caps, but those are some things you can do with regard to addressing the itch factor of wigs. And again, if you have your own particular suggestions, then please go ahead and put those down below. I'd say the next truth, and this is a really, really, really big one, especially for you new wig wearers, is wigs have a learning curve. I know you might be watching these videos and someone like me who wears a different wig every single day, I'm throwing it on and putting it, it looks so easy, but it, it wasn't easy in the beginning, not even for me, not for any seasoned wig wearer. So wigs have a learning curve different wig cap styles have a learning curve. So please, please keep that in mind. You're not just gonna get your new wig, throw it on out of the box, and it's gonna look great. First of all, wigs take some playing around, whether it's ready to wear or not. We all have our personal preferences. We all have our face shapes. We all have things that we feel like we look good in or don't look good in. So it's just like clothes. Sometimes with my shirts, I like one side tucked in and the other side out. You know, sometimes you like your jeans high, you like your jeans low, whatever it is, right? Close, toes, open up. We all have personal preferences. 
and we all have a vision of how we look. We also have a scenario where we feel good or we don't feel good. So please do not just like put your wig on the first time out of the box and be like, oh, it looks horrible, I hate it, right? There is a learning curve. There is a lot to learn. There is a lot to learn. Do not beat yourself up if you don't understand everything. Do not beat yourself up if you don't know anything. Do not give up on wigs. Sometimes I actually suggest if you're a new wig wearer and you find something you don't like, put it to the side, learn a little bit more, experiment a little bit more, and then come back to it because there are wigs that I got rid of in the beginning that I would love to wear now and, and I can't get them, okay? Seek support. We have a wonderful, amazing community here at Tia Maria Wigs. You don't just get a wig here, you get a complete community. And so what I suggest to you is join our private Facebook group, Tia Maria's Wig Hangout on Facebook. Join it and ask all your questions. No questions dumb. Every single person in there when they were new had the same exact question. Every other person in there that is new has the question and would like the answer as well. So yes, there is a learning curve to wigs. Please know that going into it. Next up is wig security is real, okay? You can get into a scenario where your wig is not going to stay on and you need to know how to keep it on, what to use, when to use it. I have full videos with regard to wig security, but just know that there are double-sided tapes, there's glue. I do sell the lace silk from Wig Guru on my website. Your wig grip is gonna be your best friend, okay? And I prefer the Milano wig grip cap, also sell that on my website, but there are ways to secure your wigs. And also the fit of the wig can factor into the security. So if you're wearing a wig cap that's way too big, when I say wig cap, I mean the construction of the wig, not like wig cap, like wig grip cap, you know what I mean? Not like the nylon liner. But if the construction of the cap is way too big, that's gonna affect fit. Also, if the wig is too small, and I don't think I say this enough and I need to, if your wig is too small, it can also affect the security of the wig as well because if it's too tight or too small, it can actually pop off in a way that you may not expect it to. Or for instance, say you're wearing a hat with the wig and the wig is too small, then the wig will come up like with the hat as well. So I would say for this truth, make sure you know your circumference, make sure you know your head size. I have a whole video that shows you exactly how to measure your head. I also have a blog post on this. Make sure that you know which wigs work for you keep a log of wigs whether you get rid of them or not what was the wig name what was the cap construction what was the fit what did you like about it what didn't you like about it and so that is the next little truth that i'd like to talk about okay and last but not least wigs do require maintenance they require maintenance to wear them they require maintenance to keep them up the longevity of your synthetic wig really does you know hinge on the level of care and maintenance that you take. I have full videos on this, but just like anything else, you do have to maintain it. Wigs do need to be washed, but they can't be washed too much. Wigs need particular products. You have to be careful when you're you know, combing them or brushing them, all of those different things. If you want a full video, an additional video on wig maintenance specifically, go ahead and put that down below. But that's definitely a truth. You're gonna have to do stuff to your wig to keep it looking nice, to keep it lasting as long as possible. Overall, the rule of thumb is that a synthetic piece can last between three to six months. I have ones that last way, way longer, but I also rotate them in. So if you want me to go deeper into this topic, please let me know that. But the biggest truth about wigs is that they are fun, they are empowering, and they can really bring you a level of confidence and enjoyment that you just didn't even know was possible, okay? So though there are some truths, some annoying things, just like anything, once you start to embrace them and wear them, once you find your sweet spot with the wig styles and colors and types, you'll really find that you feel great, that you love wearing it, and that it's totally worth it. So please put down below what your truths are about things that people may not have told you right away and you wish you would have known down below and also put down for other people what your reason for wearing wigs is, was, continues to be, and let's have a conversation down in the description box. If you like this video, please hit like, and if you want more of this content, hit subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.